raiding this whiskey and then get out of here. Rowan is about to come soon, dude. We got like four minutes before Rowan comes. All right, fine. And I gotta go golf. So, uh, let, and I wanted to talk about Bill's talk too. Where are you gonna golf? We just set up in my garage. Okay, so you're dude. golfing in your garage, so yeah. you, you don't have to go anywhere. I got tea time in like five <laughs> minutes in my garage, bro. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I don't really care. I got to edit that anyway. But uh, I wanted to do Bill's talks. I want to talk about our draft picks. What do you think? Uh, just off the top. Who cares if this is four hours long? Whatever. I give the Bills an A-. minus. Why Why not an A+. plus? Because we, I mean, we got what we needed. We're good. An A+, plus would have been, I don't even know what an A+, plus would have looked like. Maybe an offensive tackle so we can figure out Ford's debacle, but... It, I mean, we we attacked a lot of the offensive line of free agency. We drafted a kicker that's solid. I'm stoked about it. He, Dude, also he did, hit like a 60 yard one step. Yeah. It's like, okay. Right. Bye, Hauschka. I know. Love you, but see ya. Yeah. Um, he's also not tatted up with right wing militia <laughs> right. groups. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that's For a problem. that doesn't know, it's the Patriots kicker. Yeah. The Patriots kicker is a three percenter tattoo on his left inner bicep. He's so, like, I didn't know what it meant when I got it. <laughs> That's what's you're what's wrong with our country. <laughs> so, um, I think the. What do you think about us taking a quarterback? What are your uh, What are your thoughts on it, dude? I'm stoked we got Jake Fromm. Me too. Stoked too. we got him. He's essentially another coach. He's extremely intelligent. Total bro. His Twitter handle is Jake from State Farm. I'm all about this kid, and he's. I mean, did you see him? He's yeah. a stud. Yeah. It's obnoxious. So I'm all about Jake Fromm the, in a totally straight alpha male, non-homosexual way. The thing with that, the thing with him, especially in the fifth round, because fifth round is actually when Brady was drafted, I'm pretty sure, right? So like he could potentially become a starter one day. I think we stole him from the Patriots. Really? Did you hear them? No. Bill Belichick said in a press conference, he's like, we didn't plan on not drafting a quarterback we wanted a quarterback it's just all of the ones we wanted were gone i think they were waiting for jake Fromm. i think they got greedy thought that he was going to fall and then we snagged him because brandon bean's a savage right and i think that we stole him from the patriots that, that's sick because you know next year one i don't know too too much about college football but i don't think that the draft next year is as quarterback heavy like they have trevor lawrence coming out but other than that, don't Patriots, remind me. Patriots aren't going to be uh, number one draft pick Correct. to grab Trevor Lawrence because he's going to go within the top three next year. No doubt. So is my boy T. Law. God, he needs right to cut that hair there. You're, you're looking like him coming up, dude. Listen, your hair is that long. I'm gonna I'm gonna tuck my hair be- behind my ears. Um, but like, I <clears throat> in the off chance, I know everybody loves Allen. I love him too. But in the off chance he doesn't perform this year, and let's say we miss the playoffs, why not have a fifth-round quarterback? We don't need anything else. Every single person on our team, like we went into this draft for the first time in years not needing anything. We got Stephon Diggs. Like, honestly, other than tackle, which we also filled in the free agency with Daryl Williams, what position do you think that the Bills really needed? The end, and we got it. And we got it. Yep. In the second round. Mm-hmm. So outside of that, why not play with the other picks? Why not grab Jake Fromm? Why not grab Tyler Bass? Why not grab two beastly wide receivers that are 6'2 and 6'4 where we don't have that height? Like this was a – to me this was a slam dunk for the Bills. People are flipping out because we got a D end in the second round. We were projected to take him in the first round. And like three years ago he was projected number one overall. Right. And we got him in the second round. Yep. Like we killed this draft. And I have full confidence in Bean and McDermott. And when it comes to a quarterback in the fifth round, in the off chance that Allen doesn't fix his accuracy, in the off chance, and he's not our franchise quarterback, we got an elite level backup that could potentially be a starter, no problem. I love this draft. Jake this from, so happy. he's a younger Matt Barkley. Right. It's exactly what he is. And I'm all about it because Matt Barkley is not dumb. Yeah. He plays smart. He doesn't have a great arm, but neither does Jake Fromm. Yeah. They're the same. They're the same style quarterback. It's just we got him on a rookie contract, right? And we don't necessarily need Barkley anymore because right. Allen is going on his what fourth year now, third or four, third third year, fourth third. year, third year, third 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 year. Yeah, yeah. So he's going on his third year. He doesn't necessarily need a veteran to teach him anymore. He has two years experience. This is making me burp a lot. 
Um, well, it's a high rye, bro. 35% rye. rye. Yeah, really. So I love this draft class. I love that we got Zach Moss. I was honestly hoping that we were going to grab A.J. Dillon because he's like a 6'3", 250-pound, 4'5", 40 running back that I would have loved to have at goal line. But I like this guy, too. He's yeah, smaller, but... Bean came out and said that Moss is our gore. So we're basically going to get rid of gore, yeah. let him retire. Dude's maybe going, keep, maybe he's, keep Yeldon. Yeah, he's literally going to turn in his helmet and yeah. grab a gold jacket on the way out because right. he's going right into the Hall of Fame. We'll keep Yeldon for an option. I mean, it's we're good. We're we, in really good shape. We honestly, if we don't win a playoff this year, I'll be upset. Hundred percent. If we we we're really stacked, should have won right last now. year, but we're if stacked. we don't win a playoff game this year, the whole city is going to be like, dude, just. Even if it's one playoff game win, yeah. the whole city to will show be happy. Progress. Yeah. We've already showed progress two playoff runs in the last three years. We need to have another playoff run. We need, to, we win need to win one game. Yep. If we win one playoff game, I'm happy. And what do you think about Tampa? Just to kind of sum this up. Dude, Tampa is going to be garbage. I'm calling it. They're going to be this year's Cleveland. Everyone was so hyped up about Cleveland last year with Baker, OBJ, Kareem Hunt, Nick Chubb. Jarvis Landry, like all these huge offensive weapons. Brady's done. Gronk is a nobody at this point. He was going to wrestle for the God's sake. Like he's not going, they're not going to perform the way that they did in New England. They're done. I, I can predict right now, and hold me to this, New England Patriots will be better, have a better record than the Tampa Bay Bucs. I watch the Buccaneers and smile about the whole thing, but I it's a whole separate division. I feel bad for Breeze because now he has to deal with it all. But mm-hmm. they also just got Hill for a and Winston twenty one million dollar contract. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't foresee the Bucks being a threat per se. I'm actually semi worried about the Dolphins because they also did a really good job in the mm-hmm. draft. And I'm not saying that with Tua. I'm saying that with all their offensive picks between all the linemen and mm-hmm. I. Did they grab a tight end or no? I think it was just a bunch of old linemen. I think it was a bunch of old linemen. Which. I mean, you pretty much need because you want to protect two as much as possible. How but. shitty do you have to feel if you're Josh Rosen? You got drafted in the first round. Your first year, they pick a first round tight end, or first round quarterback. You get traded to a different team. They pick a first round quarterback. No one, everybody wanted uh, Rosen for Buffalo. So happy we don't have him. But I would feel terrible if I were him. Honestly, I don't think that he's ever been in the right system and given a real chance. Yeah. And I. It sucks, but, I mean, he's got a job, mm-hmm. so he's still raking in money. It just sucks that he never really, like, at, up to now, hasn't gotten a huge chance. Cam Newton is rumored to go to the Dolphins, which is insane. Can you – why? Exactly. Get rid of Fitz? Exactly. Like, what is the intent behind that? But I don't I, don't I wouldn't know. be surprised if Cam goes to Patriots. Yeah, they were talking about that a week ago, a week and a half, but I don't know. Who do they have right now? They got their, uh, what's his name? This is going to bother me next week when I watch this. What's that kid's name? It's 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 kind of like Stenum or something. Um, it'll it'll come to me after, but I had too much Hunter proof. But, but yeah, so he's. He, I I cl- think clearly he's not that important. But pa- Patriots are going to have a better record than the Bucks. We'll see. It's Bill Belichick, not Tom Brady, that I'm scared of. Still going to be Pats. All right. Anyway, let's uh, – overall, A-. minus. I would say A- minus would be a fair a fair grade for the Bills. They did a great job. I'm so excited for the season. The season better happen. It's like the ninth beep for this episode. 